Jed here to demonstrate GoTo's new SawPhone experience. SawPhone is used when describing the application that uses your computer as your business phone. With the latest version, you can open the SawPhone in a floating window outside of the main GoTo app window. You'll need an active GoToConnect account to use this feature. I'll use the desktop app for this video, but GoTo can be accessed on this site. I've already signed in as the user Ryan Noble. Take note of the left navigation menu. You may see different icons here depending on what options are available with your GoTo plan. If you're not there already, click the phone icon. To open the saw phone, you have a few different options. From the main dial pad, it will open if you enter a number or select one of your contacts to call. If you receive an incoming call, it will open. Finally, you can open the app without being on a call by clicking the dial button. I'll do that. After you place or accept a call with the GoTo desktop app, you'll see the saw phone. You can manage your calls from the desktop app or the saw phone with that open. Let's focus on the saw phone. The saw phone window will remain open until I close or minimize it. Let's start with the settings. Click this icon. Here's where you can select your microphone and speaker and choose your ringer for the saw phone. You'll want to check this section if you are having issues with hearing people on a call or them being able to listen to you. If you've made a temporary change or no change at all, click the cancel button. If you want your changes to be the default devices, click set as default. If you have more than one phone number associated with your user, you can use the color ID swap. You can select the number visible to the call recipient from this drop down menu. When it comes to calling someone, you have two main options. You can dial a number here and click the dial button to place the call. You can also search for and select a contact from this field. I will call one of my coworkers. As the text at the top of the screen now indicates, we are on an active call. Let's talk about the buttons we now see. Click this button to either mute or unmute yourself. Click this button to place a call on hold or resume it. It's possible to have more than one call at a time on the saw phone, and you can simultaneously place up to five calls on hold. Let me show you how to place additional calls. I'll put the current call on hold. While on an active call, click the back arrow even if it is on hold. Now enter the new number to dial or select one of your contacts. I'll select my contact Alonzo and then click the dial button. This banner lets me see who my active call is and how many additional calls I have. Click that banner. Now I can see my calls. The one with the green border is my active call. Hovering over each one will display different options, like being able to swap which is my active call. I will end my call with Alonzo. Call parking allows placing a call on hold and having anyone pick up that call on your account. Click that button. Again, I can see my active calls. From here, you can specify if you want to use one of the six traditional call parking spots or designate the number of the one below. Once you've determined the spot, you can click Park Call. However, I will not worry about doing that for this video and will return to the previous screen. You can transfer a call to another contact or an external number by clicking the transfer button. Now enter the desired contact name or phone number to transfer the call. 
You then have three different transfer options. Direct transfer, also known as blind transfer, allows you to transfer the call to another person without speaking to them first. With warm transfer, you speak to the other person before transferring the call. Finally, as the option says, you can transfer a call to a person's voicemail. I'm going to select Warm Transfer. With whatever option you select, click this button to proceed. It will say either Next or Transfer. The person at extension 1187 is unavailable. I'm told that Alonzo was not available. If he was and wanted to accept the call, I could click transfer to complete the process. Since he is not, however, first I will end the call with Alonzo. Then I will click cancel to return to the original call. You can also add additional people to the current call. Click the add button. You can then select one of your contacts or enter an external number. And then click the dial button. Once the other person answers the call and agrees to be on the conference call, click the merge button. You've successfully started a three-way call or a mini-conference call. Let's end the call by clicking this button. We are now taken back to the dial screen of the soft phone. Now let me show you your options when you receive an incoming call. There are two main buttons where you can either decline or answer the call. There is also a drop-down arrow to the right of each option. They each have different options, like you can see when I click the drop-down menu next to the Decline button. Let's now look at your options when on a call and using the GoToDesktop app. Here's where I can see my active call, and right now, I'm only on a call with Erica. That card now indicates that there is another active call. A coworker has parked a call. Click that box to see additional information. In addition to my call with Erica, I can see information about the parked call. If I want to accept that call, I would hover over it and click Pick Up. Instead, however, I will not pick it up and will end my call with Erica. As one final thing, let me talk about call flipping. This process allows you to move a call among different devices with the same extension. That can include the mobile app, desktop app, or a desktop phone. Let's say I've been on a call on the mobile app while in the car. I've arrived home and want to move that call to my computer. This notification tells me that there is an active call on my extension on a different device. In this case, that is my go-to mobile app. That can be flipped by clicking either banner in this situation. And then click Pick Up. That call has now been flipped to my desktop app. If I wanted to flip the call back to my mobile app, I would tap the message on my mobile app that says Active Call. That's all there is to using GoTo's new cell phone.